Hi everyone, it's Professor Hall. Welcome to week seven of English 190. So we are doing our entire project this week. It needs to be all in one document and it should have everything properly labeled. Make sure that you get both parts in. Um, the rubric for this week looks and asks questions about part one, which is your collection of resources from module three. It should be revised. There are questions in the directions that you have to answer, and then you have to make any necessary changes. So the rubric, if you see it, goes through those questions and kind of assigns points based on how you did on those, and then also looks at that first part um, with your, your changes and your sources and all of that. Then you should have in the same document, label and a title showing that we are now looking at essay, your essay from module five. Please read the feedback I gave you on your essay in module five and read the feedback from your peers from the discussion forums last week consider your reflection and those things that were said in the peer review. The rubric here asks to see not only the parts, but also the fact that you made changes. So um, <laughs> you need to make changes. Please don't just copy and paste your, your former essay in. There should be major changes first, things like Maybe you needed to work on your introduction and your thesis. Maybe your body paragraphs had way too many quotes or not enough quotes. Um, how you included the evidence. Did you use persuasive techniques? How did you conclude or end your essay? All of those things are, are things that you need to consider as you do your revision. And then you should go through for small changes as well. Grammar, spelling, capitalization, citations, that kind of thing. Be sure to look at the exemplars as examples. And again, the rubric is based on both parts, so be sure to include both parts. I'm stressing this because a lot of people don't, and then they either miss major points or they're trying to scramble the last couple days of class to make sure that they get everything in on time. So um, if you have problems or questions with that, just let me know. Later in the week, I'm sending you out a lecture on how to revise an essay and also this great checklist from the Writing Center at the University of North Carolina um, uh, that is a revision checklist. And I use that sometimes when I write my own papers I just go through and say, okay, did I look at this? Did I look at this? Did I look at this? So I hope that those help and I look forward to seeing your revisions. Thanks everyone.